Hello everyone. Today we gonna learn chapter two, self development. Okay. So objectives of this chapter. After completing this chapter, you should be able to explain how self confidence affect success. Visualize the improvements needed to reach your potential. Set long-term self-improvement goals. Use behavior modification for self-improvement. Develop mentoring relationships. And explain tools available to predict occupational success. Okay, so we look at build self-confidence. Self-confidence influences your ability to put your self-improvement plan in motion. John Wesley defines self-confidence as the difference between feeling unstoppable and feeling scared out of your wits. Quick simply, self-confidence is your sense of personal strength and a belief that you are wrongly and talented. What counts is what you think you can accomplish. It doesn't matter what others think you can do. Self-confidence is displayed by a present demeanor, a positive outlook of life, friends and satisfaction with life in general. Who lack self-confidence are often timid and fear, fear, fear everything. Perception is reality. The more self-confidence you have, the more likely you are to succeed. Self-confidence has a major impact on how others perceive you because negative events in our life often result in a loss of self-esteem. Most people can use a boost of self-confidence now and then. Apply the proven techniques that follow the build self-confidence in your career, relationships, education, health, and hobbies. Use positive self-talk. Try to use self-talk all the times and avoid negative self-talk, okay? Say positive things to yourself every day. You look at the mirror and you sell the good thing to yourself. Positive self-talk programs your mind to act optimistically use statements such as, I know I can learn. I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm I'm great. Okay. Oh, I can raise my grades from a B to an A if I start the harder. Oh, I feel better. So you can tell to yourself everything that you want to talk with yourself so it can make you feel good you can do everything better and avoid negative expressions such as this bad thing this may sound stupid and negative statements such as i'm not smart i'm not beautiful i'm not good guys all these words too bad on my part. Negative statement imply failure. Use positive self-talk to keep moving forward all the time, guys. So please rem remember. And if if you like to be something, if you have the role model and you want to be like that, so please talk with yourself every day in positive way increase your knowledge and skills this is the next one 
The foundation for a healthy self-confidence is a bank of knowledge and experience at work go beyond what is expected, offer to take on new projects or responsibility, gain new skills, learn more than you have to know about your work, your major, your job description in your work, your life, keep up with current events and reads professional articles and journals and try to read the textbook. Ask questions about your concept that you don't understand with the teacher. Get an education and become a lifelong learner. The more you know, the more self-confident you will have. If you, if you try, if you try to study, if you try to know about no knowledge, yes, you can get the better. Learn from mistakes. Successful people fail, but they don't stop. You are human. I am human. So even you can fail, you can make the mistake. Say me. If you know you miss, you fail, and you don't stop. You try to develop, develop yourself. You try to rethink the situation, learn from mistakes, and try again, again. When you make major mistake, analyze what went wrong. Request help if necessary. Correct errors where possible and move on. First, you do something and then you make some mistake. You analyze your mistake. You try to think about the factors that affect your, your mistake. And then you rethinking. You try to develop yourself, try to solve the problem that you are you found. Expect to succeed when you learn something new or take on new responsibilities. Do you expect to succeed? If not, why not? Developing a can-do Attitude and raising your level of self-expectation can empower you to do well. Perhaps you are familiar with the proverb, nothing breaks success like success. Nothing makes us happier than when we set a goal for ourselves and succeed in reaching that goal. The more you succeed, the greater will be your motivation to achieve again and again, better and better. Conquer shyness. If you consider yourself shy, know that you can conquer shyness. Force yourself into new habits. Begin by going out of your Okay, and next, um, you must accept responsibility for your success. You try to empower power you all the time. Committing to your dreams, you program your brain to look for solution to keep you going on the path to success and next visualize your future self-improvement beings with visualizing your future self identifying specific and measurable goals and devising action plan to meet your goals, to visualize your potential. Use a technique called imaging. 
you try to imagine yourself, you try to imagine the great look. Imagine refers to deliberately picturing your life as you would like to be. Try to have the good image, excelling in sporting events, good manager, good CEO, good model, good actress. The process of going to reach your greatest potential is called self-actualization. Begin the process by finding a quiet place where you can relax and not be interrupted. Close your eyes and picture yourself being successful. Try to feel your mind of anxiety, strength, depression, sadness, anger, or other distractions. Imagine the personal qualities and characteristics you will need to develop to achieve the image of success when you complete the imaging process write down your visualizations and review them often make a commitment to yourself to achieve your lofty goals and dreams finally incorporate the desired qualities into your self-development plan. Self-actualization is a lifelong process. Expect to real access and redefine yourself as you move ahead in life, as you gain self-confidence and your identify, uh, identity evolve you grow personally and professional into a successful individual. Okay, so we let's talk about set goals. All successful students, business people, and professionals have goals. Clearly goal, clearly state result. You want to achieve within a specified time period. An action plan is an organized series of actions to achieve a specific goal. The overall process for achieving your goals is called goal setting. By knowing what you want to achieve, you can direct your energy toward your goals. Just as you might plan active. You must develop a plan for your life. For example, if you plan to visit the national parks in United States, you will need to estimate the cost, uh, the route to take, where you will stay, locate trails you want to uh, stay. Similar planning is necessary for life. When setting goals, consider the broad aspects that are important in your life, career, education and training, finance, relationships with your family, friends and co-workers, health, good health, hobbies and interests. Okay. When you set goals for yourself, state them clearly, put them in writing, and include the date you expect to complete them. Um, about the the date or the periods. Okay, I hope you do everything flexible. Okay, if if you limit your strains. So it's make your pressure. So press the relax and you can flexible, but not too flexible. Try to do everything in balance. Okay. 
and you may be hiring as an entry level person. Employers want to hire people who care about their future and want to go in their careers. You may be asked uh, about your career goals in job interview. An uh, employee's performance is measured by the ability to meet the goals for the position. Effective managers can supervise help employees succeed by developing and writing specific strength forward goals that reflect what must be accomplished in a certain time frame. Okay, next, I hope you're concerned about SMART goals. SMART goals are well-focused, achieved goals. SMART goal first is specific. What exactly do you want to accomplish? Next, M, measurable. How will you access your progress? Next, A, attainable. Is your goal within your reach? R, relevant. Is your goal important to your plan for life? And the last one, timely. What is your deadline for completing these goals?